down dollar day because we have a big up day for the British pound. So remember on Friday, I said, well, look at all these narratives. Again, it's, all about, it's about numbers, not narratives. That's why you don't chase narratives and you follow the numbers. If you follow the numbers on the inverse correlations, that means on dollar down days, if you're not long stocks, you are not getting paid. No, 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 no. Breaking out to a new cycle high. Fresh cycle high. Being long, that and energy stocks continue to pay off last week. If you look at Friday's action again, or last week for that matter, yeah, yeah, the stock market quote unquote corrected from its all time high, but energy was up again on the week. Up on the week, energy stocks were 1.2% if you're following in your notebook. Utilities were down again last week. They're down like 6.5% in the last month. Again, epic alpha, short utilities, long uh, energy, just, uh, just to call that for what it is. But look at a chart of the 10 year yield. It's uh, even for the real technicians, upward sloping. So again, it's going higher this morning. That's why gold's going down. Uh, gold was at one point down a full percent. So again, your full cycle investing return was realized in gold during quad three in what quarter? Q3, look at that diving back down again this morning. Again, it's cycle high was back in Q3 of 2020. You don't have to see the inflation that Wall Street talks about. You have to see the, that inflation that's in your account. Of course, commodities today are gonna hit yet another uh, cycle high, which they hit another cycle high on the CRB index last week, and that is indeed inflation.